Newsreel, real news real quick. Texas Governor Greg Abbott accused President Joe Biden of enticing migrants to make the dangerous trip across the southern border due to lax immigration policies after Vice President Kamala Harris said Abbott is playing politics over 53 migrants who died in a smuggling incident in San Antonio where they died from heat exposure in the back of a tractor trailer rig. George Washington University in Washington, D.C. said today it will keep Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas on its payroll as an adjunct professor and continue his constitutional law class after some students demanded his firing for voting to overrule Roe v. Wade. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky told the NATO summit in Madrid Wednesday the Ukraine requires $5 billion per month to cover its budget deficit or it will fall to defeat in its war with Russia. Zelensky also told the NATO leaders that they need to supply Ukraine sufficiently to defeat Russia or there will be a delayed war between Russia and you. I don't really follow that logic, I have to admit. Podcast host Joe Rogan supports Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president in 2024, saying, quote, he would work as a good president, unquote. Rogan praised DeSantis for his response to the coronavirus pandemic and his willingness to stand up for American freedoms to bring Florida out of the lockdown and other mandates more quickly than any other state in America. Rogan also voiced his disapproval of President Joe Biden, saying, quote, So all this stuff is happening while we have a dead man as president. You know, it's just not fun, unquote. R&B star R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison on Wednesday for his conviction in a Brooklyn federal court that he physically and sexually abused women and minors over three decades. Outgoing Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett announced today he will not stand for re-election in the upcoming general elections after his governing coalition collapsed in a parliamentary vote last week. Former President Donald Trump is traveling to Alaska this weekend to campaign for former Governor Sarah Palin, who's running for Congress, and for a GOP challenger to incumbent Senator Lisa Murkowski. And finally, the Jetsons' cartoon home is for sale for $415,000. The two-bedroom, three-bathroom home has a breathtaking view of the Tulsa, Oklahoma skyline after you ride an elevator up to the living area. Sorry, but Astro doesn't come with the house. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.